Hi guys, Jordan here with your vocal tip of the week. This week we are going to talk about straws. What can I say about straws other than they're wonderful, I love them, and I take them with me everywhere. And I mean everywhere. You may have heard of the crazy cat lady, but have you heard of the crazy straw lady? That would be me. What kind of straws can you use? Great question. Anything that you can find that's a straw. Bendy straws from the dollar store. Bendy straws from Ikea. We have milkshake straws from Ikea. Walmart uh, bendy straws. Restaurant straws that my aunt got as a joke for a birthday party. I personally love my metallic straw. Straw Phonation is a semi-occluded vocal tract exercise. You can just call it an SOVT exercise, it's totes fine. Straw phonation makes our vocal tract longer. Why is this good? Well, it means that inside where our vocal folds are, there's some pressure going on that we need in order for the vocal folds to vibrate against each other. So especially if your voice is very tired and there's been a lot of stress on it, the straw is a great opportunity for your voice to get a little break. So there's a couple ways you can use a straw as a singer. One, you can use it to help you breathe. So the way that I use it with my students, I have them put the straw up to their mouth, we breathe in for five seconds, breathe out for five, and I have them put their hand out this way so they can feel that the air is coming through. Looks easy, right? It's challenging. Another way you can use a straw is just humming through it. So if you have a song you really like, or you have a song that you're working on, just take your straw and hum along with it. Whether you're in the car or in your room, it's a really easy thing that you can do. I like to do sirens with the straws. Favorite thing I like to do with the straw is put it in water and blow bubbles. You want to make sure that you have a steady stream of air and you're not going crazy like this. You can use this exercise to just make bubbles or you can hum along with the song that you're working on. I love using straw phonation because straws are easily accessible and none of these exercises are too strenuous or difficult for vocalists, whether they're beginners or they're really advanced. There's some really great stuff about straw phonation and how awesome it is for your voice on the internet, so I'm gonna share some of those links down below. And I'd like to thank my friend Liz Johnson for sending me uh, this have you used your straw today cup a couple of months ago. I love it. And she's doing great things with straws for voice, so please go check her out as well. This is your vocal tip of the week. I hope you learned something, and I will see you later. Disclaimer, do not use a straw while you are operating a moving vehicle because I was driving and was uh, parking at a restaurant and hit my brakes too hard and I was doing my voice exercises so like and my metallic straw uh, cut my uh, you know my mouth so I walked into a restaurant with a really bloody mouth my parents were really freaked out but I'm okay but don't do that I learned the lesson for you, okay?